Chillin' out like Kobe boy, the song point like CP3 Holly in my own world, my own world just leave me be I don't know where they judge me, but they don't even know my name But one day they gon' see my name in the Hall of Fame Rollin' out like Kobe boy, the song point like CP3 Rollin' out like Kobe boy, the song point like CP3 Rollin' out like Kobe boy, the song point like CP3 Glenville is prepping for their season opening matchup against rivals East Tech. It's been 10 long months since their last meeting, and payback is the only thing on the Ville's agenda. Last year's team was led by all Senate shooting guard Craig Eubanks. Craig had a mad game. Now, Glenville had already defeated East Tech earlier in the season. But Janelle Free and KT Taylor weren't going to let history repeat itself. The Ville made a few tough plays down the stretch, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to take down Tech and the Cynic lead MVP KT Taylor. We played them earlier that year and beat them. So I guess everybody was going in the game like, oh, we beat them once, and we're just gonna show up and win. That's never the case for anybody. And that, when it backfired at halftime, they was up 10. And in the locker room, everybody was just like, what are we gonna do? And we tried to fight back, but it wasn't enough. So, you know, the, the more of that story is, don't ever underestimate nobody, just play hard every time. What you have to understand, him and Craig Eubanks were joined at the hip at that time. So they made each other better. It was kind of like a Jordan Pippen type thing. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. But last year he realized that, you know, there was a lot going on. And he could be somebody, and he could do some great things. And he figured it out. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm glad to say that I know him. And I'm glad to say that the progress that he's made from eighth grade until now is tremendous. He has to continue to get better in the classroom. You know, he has to score high and, and, and strive with his ACT scores. On the floor, uh, I'm not worried about it. You know, I think uh, he's worked on his jump shot. He needs to get stronger, which he's doing. He's gained about 15 pounds. And I think he has to understand success is good, just don't swallow it. It's good to chew on it like a piece of gum, but you know, success is, there's nothing good that comes from success when you swallow it and you think you've arrived. Nobody's arrived. There's no big speeches. First game, opening day. I'm done, man. Fellas, go home, get some rest, get a good meal, lay down, go to sleep, act right in school. Other than that, it's game time. This is what you've been working for, some of you since March. Running all summer, lifting, and now it's time. This should be the fun part. The work part is on. We run the hallways, we run the stairs, we push up, we sat up, we pulled up, we've done it all. <laughs> so now it's time to see what we have. Now the winner is asking that question What did you do all summer? So please be focused and be ready to go and have a ball. So you black, go black with white unis? Yeah, that's good. That's terrible, Hush. Huh? You know, oh, you know, white with white unis? Oh, Hold on. Hey, hey, yeah, now you see what I'm talking about. The squad doesn't seem too nervous about tomorrow's matchup, but they know they have to go all out. Uh, you know what you got to do, though. You don't do no talking. I'm sure everybody tomorrow. I'm working hard. Game all time. summer. Y'all gonna do it tomorrow? That's all we did. And I'll feel it. Stay tuned for everybody. How big of a game is this field? Big game. How big of a game is this field? 
People say I'm going to lose about 15. One of the biggest cities. Biggest game. Biggest. It is. Hey, we 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 gonna show. We gonna show. We been. We been doing that. Everybody. Good vibes all day. Good school. Still. We just gotta kick him in the head. Still. Still. You're my boy. Still. You're my boy. Be ready, man. Hey. Heard that? If you ready, they don't like that. That's all I mean to say. <laughs> they don't like that. At East Tech, Coach Brett Moore and his team are closing out the preseason with one last scrimmage. Tech has a nasty three-headed monster at the guard spots, possibly the best backcourt in the city. You've got senior shooting guard Johnnell Free, MLK transfer guard Anthony Carmen, reigning Senate MVP KT Taylor, and also freshman guard Markel Johnson. You may be familiar with those other three guys, but this kid, Markel Johnson, is a name that you need to remember. The freshman came out of nowhere this fall and has everyone talking. The potential this young man has is deadly. East Tech feels they have a clear advantage with this matchup. Hey man, I'm sleeping all day Tuesday. I got the two things I want to destroy them. What you mean? You got those. You're man. You heard it. My arrogant point guard, you hear me? They not ready. You hear me? My arrogant point guard, bro. He said we go destroy him. Last year we was young, you know what I'm saying? We were still kind of scrappy, but... I was highly disappointed when I said we were starting off. I think we can go out of way this year. Well, he cares about you guys a lot. Are we ready? Yeah, you guys. Is that your luxury... Limo out there? That, yeah, that, party bus. Just well, the that's all right. That's all right. Off top. Oh, appreciate it, man. Off top. Appreciate it. Hey, good luck to y'all. <laughs> hey, we got one Limbo. Great to see you, man. Shane Patty. What's up with the Limbo? Huh? Just put the picture. This is how Glenville talking to us, bro. It's Tay Roaches, be like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate that, bro. Wow. We they taking that here, bro. We going at him, bro. Off top. Turn up, man. It's going. Hey, it's on live. It's going. It's going. It's going. Let's go. I don't really have a big time speech for you guys. I can tell you one thing, though. You ain't shaking. You're prepared and you're ready to play. Again, I got I got to keep going back to the community and who where you're from. That jersey says Glenville. It doesn't have your personal name on it. You represent something so much bigger than you, bigger than me. There's a history here. We're a little bit short, but we're fine. We're fine. Oh, we don't yeah. want it easy. We don't want it easy. This is a dog fight. You know, this is for Terrell. Let's go!
Wasn't Ohio State supposed to blow Michigan out? This is what you have. All this shit is irrelevant because this is a rivalry. It's a rivalry. It's a legitimate wide rivalry. So emotions gonna be running high and I expect it to be an emotional game. It should be. We split last year. We done beat them the last three out of four times we done met. Them. So they got something to prove to us. We got something to prove because now it's the first year that we are in the spotlight to start the season. Usually it's us targeting people. We gotta go after them, they rank, we gotta go after them. We rank. We the highest ranked team in the Senate. But I think, I know for a fact that we deserve the ranking. We worked hard as hell this summer. With this same group of guys, we worked hard. Everything that you're supposed to get this season, just understand, it's not a mistake. You work for it. So if we get the MVP come out this, off this team again, we work for that. If we get some all Ohio players this year, which I expect, we work for that. So just understand, anything you do good, none of this stuff is about to be luck. You know what luck is? You know the definition of luck? When preparation meet opportunity. This is our shit. This is us. We run the Senate with our small ass team. Everybody is out for this much anticipated matchup. Usually don't catch a Senate game like this until mid-season. Easy to see why everybody's hyped up. This is going to be stressful because he's the only one that's been there before. He's the only one that's been through the pressure situations, you know, but that was the main reason why we tried to raise him the way we raised him so that it wouldn't be any meltdowns when we get to this point. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! From jump, it was evident that this game would be a track meet. Each team traded baskets at a high rate early on. Jermon drew so much attention from the defense, it was easy for him to make plays for the others early in the first half. This game was exciting but extremely hard for starting guards Timmy Williams and Terrell Richardson to watch, both sitting out due to transfer rules. Tech led at the half, and KT Taylor was just starting to heat up. So now it was Jamon's time to turn up.
Ivy received some big time help from junior point guard Roy Hatchett. But at the end of the day, Taylor and the gang were just too much. Ivy and Taylor both tallied 30 points each. But Tech's early season statement lets everyone know the Senate Championship belongs on East 55th, not St. Clair. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this marinate. I'm glad it happened. Yeah, I too. I said the same thing too. Adversity and chaos I the same is the thing. opportunity for God we gonna to work. We're gonna be cold after this. Adversity and chaos is yeah. the opportunity. For God to work. Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying, stick around and see what happens. I'm telling y'all, fellas. I'm proud of y'all. We got some things to tweak. What is this guy working on? It is what it is. If you ain't never believed in what I said ever before in life, believe what I just said right now. Let's get the prayer. Come on. Uh, he, you know, he did his thing, but, you know, they got to rebound more. But, Jamal, a problem. He's a problem. He's gonna be a problem for the whole year. He gotta improve on his defense a little bit more. He gotta to communicate to his team more. You know, he got everything else, but he just needs a little communication. He gotta open up, he gotta be a team leader this year without Craig. The great thing about the game of basketball is you can have a short memory. You can make adjustments and you can keep it moving. Next week on Neo Hoops, we take a look at Cleveland Central Catholic wing Travell Beck and his matchup with top rated sophomore wing VJ King of Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's. On the court, please believe there is no love lost there. Mm, he earned it. He out here balling. He, he do what he got to do. He keep working hard. It's easy for him. Easy little sophomore class. Yeah, he, he number one.